The following video is on swirling flow of viscoelastic fluids. A torsionally driven cavity is used to generate a swirling flow in a well-defined geometry. The test fluid is situated within a fully enclosed cylinder where the top lid and side walls are stationary. A laser sheet is used to visualize the secondary flow patterns by inserting fluorescent dye into the flow cell through the top lid. The bottom lid, or disc, is rotated at a large range of speeds such that the swirling flow is generated in the primary flow direction. The primary flow causes both a centrifugal force which is directed radially outwards and, for viscoelastic fluids, an elastic force which is directed radially inwards along the disc. The direction and behaviour of the secondary flow field depends on the properties of the fluid and on the balance between the inertial, viscous and elastic forces.